Hello everyone. Welcome to another C++ programming tutorial. Today I will be talking about C++ constructor and destructor. In class-based object-oriented programming, a constructor abbreviation CTOR in a class is a special type of subroutine call to create an object. It prepares a new object for use, often accepting arguments that the constructor uses to set required member variables, definition obtained from Wikipedia. A destructor is a special member function that is called when the lifetime of an object ends. The purpose of the destructor is to free the resources that the object may have acquired during its lifetime. See plusplusreference.com Lesson. Today I will be demonstrating to you how to use the constructor and destructor in C++. In addition, I will walk you through the example of using unique pointer and make unique. So let's go into Eclipse and demonstrate to you how we can use uh, constructor and destructor. So let's first off declare uh, our headers. So I'll stream for standard input output, include string, include memory. So this is where we're going to be using make unique and auto pointer and then let's declare using namespace standard I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple classes so I'm gonna call class B and I'm gonna do public B the actual constructor so C out in B constructor Okay, end line. And I'm going to create a, another function. Say void, say string, string, and it's going to see out string end line. Okay, so that's the end of class B. Now I'm going to create class A and in the public section, I'll declare a uh, unique pointer which points to class B that we declare up there. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to create the constructor. So this we, we call CTOR. Uh, A, sorry, A, and it's going to create. Uh, pointer equal to make unique uh, B so this basically creates um, a unique pointer sorry unique pointer that manages a new object okay so uh, we can say PTR, which is pointer, say hello, right? So the point of this is when uh, it's out of scope, it's going to call the destructor to destroy the pointer automatically. So uh, we say in CTOR and A CTOR. End line. Okay, and we're going to create a couple methods. So let's say void set values int a int b, and we're going <coughs> to we're going to say this a equal a, this b equal b. But <coughs> in order to do so, we have to create the private variable. So private. Uh, int a int b okay and then we need to print out the variables so we say void print uh, and we're going to do a c out a equal this a b equal this b end line 
Okay, and I'll go ahead and create another. Uh, this is overloaded C tor. So the overloaded C tor, we say A. We can pass in A or in B. And in this case, uh, we say. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another pointer. So I'm going to say pointer equal to make unique uh, pointer to B. Okay, and I'm going to call pointer say hello world, right? So, uh, and we're going to print out C out in overloaded. Uh, a C tor and line and we're gonna set uh, this A equal to A this B equal to B okay so that's uh, uh, the end of our, um, our uh, overloaded constructor Okay, let's go into um, create our destructor for this class. So the destructor start with a tilde. So we say tilde a. Okay. So basically, um, whenever the class is destroyed, uh, it's gonna call the destructor. So see out in a destructor okay and let's do an end line okay so let's go into our main okay in our main we go ahead and uh, create the following instance okay so uh, in our <coughs> can, uh, um, regular constructor which is not overloaded we're going to say auto uh, pointer a okay a new a class okay so we can say a set values a, okay basically three and five is the value right are the values and we say a print Okay, so the auto pointer will automatically manage our memory for us. So when it's out of scope, it's going to call the construct uh, destructor. Okay, and let's create it uh, an overloaded constructor. So we say auto pointer a b. Okay, new a. Six seven, so we pass in six seven as the value, and we don't need to call a set value. So, and then all we need to do is do a print. Okay, and in the case where it's out of scope, it's going to call the actual destructor to destroy this object. So another way of um, declaring um, our pointer is we we can create. Uh, we can call make, make unique so let's say auto uh, p equal standard make unique and we pass in the class and in our constructor we can pass in the value let's say we want to pass in the value um, 8 9 okay and we can say a sorry a print Okay, so let's save this program and recompile the code. So notice I'm not using uh, the delete word at all to destroy my um, my object. Uh, auto pointer uh, and make make unique will automatically uh, call the destructor when things are uh, out of scope. So let's go to our terminal and. Uh, let's execute the program and as you can see uh, 
you can see that my, my first value um, you know so the first time it calls the constructor it created uh, class B <clears throat> yeah it created an instance of class B here and uh, it called hello which is uh, the function called say and it prints out in a CTOR and then uh, afterward uh, we print out the value uh, 3 and 5 for the uh, respective variable A and B and um, you can see the other example down here uh, you know we, we call uh, okay so we, we, we call the constructor and we pass in uh, oh I made a mistake here so this constructor here I should have called B print not a print okay so let's recompile the code again one more time sorry about that let's do a clear and execute again so yes now we pass in 3 5 right and we got 3 5 we pass in 6 and 7 and we got 6 and 7 as the print print out and we pass in 8 and 9 uh, for make unique and it prints out 8 and 9 and it actually called the destructor three times when things are out of, uh, out of scope uh, and it leaks the actual object from memory without you have to manage it so um, this is a quick tutorial on how you can use um, a constructor and destructor uh, in C++ but along the way uh, don't use delete when necessary use auto pointer and make unique to manage your memory and uh, if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching uh, see you next time